OK, uh, welcome to this date visualization class. Uh, so let's go to the syllabus first. Uh, so this is an online class, a uh, synchronized. Uh, so all the uh, lectures materials are posted on Canvas. OK, uh, so I'm Dr. Xu Wei, the instructor of this class. And this is my office. And also this is my uh, virtual office on WebEx. Uh, so I will host the virtual office hours this entire semester uh, from Monday to Friday between 7 p.m. and also 8 p.m. So you may want to install the WebEx app and you can if you have questions, please feel free to join my office hours um, by click this URL. And this is also my uh, GMU email. And this class, we will talk about how we can visually explore the data and also how we can present our results uh, to clients. So we will learn the different visualization methods so that we can visualize numbers, text, uh, texts, spatial data, uh, social network data, and also 3D data. So we will use Tableau a lot. So you should um, request your Tableau Educate license, and you need to download the Tableau desktop and also the Tableau prep. OK, so we will use those two uh, software um, on our, in our first week and also through the uh, eight weeks, the first eight weeks. You will also need to install Gaffey, uh, so which is a free network visualization tool. Uh, we will also uh, create some VR scenes on AWS, so you also need to accept that AWS educate email, create your account, and also join this classroom on AWS so that we, we will do the VR labs. OK, so I will leave you to read the other details. Uh, here I want to highlight our textbook. So we have two textbooks. The first one is data visualization. This provides a lot of great concepts and also the best practice for creating different visualizations. So that is highly recommended and it is also required. The second one provides a lot of great examples. So it is called uh, beautiful visualization. So this one, you can learn a lot of great examples. Um, one key in learning data visualization is that you need to learn a lot of examples. So data visualization is kind of is a technology plus science plus art. Both books are free. Uh, so if you are using GMU Wi-Fi, you can just click those URL and you will be able to access the textbook. Uh, if you're outside of GMU campus and you can just uh, log into GMU library with your GMU ID and password. And from there, you will be able to access those two textbooks for free. Uh, make sure you check Canvas. Um, at least once per day. So I will make announcement on Canvas and also in Slack. So you all have received invitation to Slack. So Slack is another communication tool we will use uh, throughout this semester. Uh, I also have the other two uh, websites. So my YouTube channel and also my, my GitHub. Both provide a lot of tutorials uh, for data visualization, data mining, uh, Python, uh, AWS, it, uh, and also GRS. OK, um, I don't think we will need the computer labs in the NGO building. However, if you do need, uh, please make sure you check GME website before you come in, uh, see if there are any restrictions uh, due to COVID. Uh, same as the other classes, uh, so cheating are not tolerated in this class. Uh, and also, I highly recommend use the OneDrive storage to, to store your, uh, your labs, your lectures, etc. Uh, we all have a one terabyte OneDrive, so please make sure that you, uh, you save everything on OneDrive. And that is also easier, so if you want to share something with me, uh, so we can I can check your data, uh, your projects, your labs um, by go to your OneDrive. So office hours. So please make sure that you post the questions into Slack first, if possible. 
And during my office hours, I will answer those questions uh, from Slack first, um, because that is more efficient. So everyone can see the questions and everyone can also see the answers. And please also free, feel free to provide the, all your own answers so that we can help each other. If your questions cannot be fully addressed in Slack, so please feel free to my WebEx um, over to office uh, during my office hours. If you want to discuss anything that is more pr private or personal, like grades attendance, um, please do send me emails. So do not uh, discuss those private issues in Slack or WebEx. Uh, I don't think the uh, our class will be impacted by the weather because everything will be fully online. However, just in case we need to, to change some schedules, so uh, I will send out announcement on Canvas and also Slack. And if you need any help, uh, either disabilities or health issues, uh, please let me know and I'll, I'll make my best to accommodate your need. Okay, so the important part of this class the grading. So we have four components. Uh, so online participant, 20%. Online lectures, 20%. Uh, you will also need to finish a final project, that is 20%. And we also have weekly labs, so that is 40%. And your final grade will be divided, calculated based on this table. So for example, if you get uh, more than four, uh, 94, and you will have A, and if for some reason, you get less than 61, and you will receive an F. All right, so for the online participant, first, you need to join the Slack workspace, and you need to communicate with the instructors and also the, our classmates. There, each week, you need to post a discussion for a specific topic that on Canvas. So, so the topic will be post it on Canvas, but you need to share your discussion in Slack uh, so that you will receive those 20% grades. So each week, there will be a topic that you need to discuss. And each week, you will watch several lecture videos. And within those videos, there are embedded questions. So you have to answer those questions successfully, and you need to submit the questions and to unlock the other videos or the other modules. And also, by answering those questions, you will uh, receive the other 20% of your, uh, towards your final grades. We also have weekly labs, so that will be assigned each week. Uh, for, the, for the final project, so you need to finish a research project on a topic that uh, both uh, you are interested in and also um, I will also give you a general idea that what the project will look like uh, uh, when we are going to finish start our final project. So for the final project, you need to write a proposal. So basically, that how you are going to finish your project. And finally, you need to finish the the online dashboard. So that is in Tableau, and uh, you need to submit the URL of your final dashboard. You will also record a very short presentation that to demo your dashboard. Make sure that uh, you don't submit all the assignments late, so the lectures, participants, or the labs. So um, for the late submissions, it will be 10% uh, per day. So for example, if you submit a lab that is seven days late, you will, re you will lose uh, seven points but no more than uh, 40 points in total. So for example, if you submit something that um, three months is later, and you will still have 60 points of your, of your uh, late submissions. However, no late submissions will be accepted in a final exam week. So that is a hard deadline for all the other, for all these uh, uh, assignments, except the final project. Uh, you have one chance to resubmit your your assignments. So as long as you meet those criteria, uh, however, you just have one chance to sum, resubmit um, uh, your labs, uh, um, and also you will still receive late penalties. 
So that is after the deadlines. Uh, so if that is before the deadlines, you can resubmit any times of your labs or the assignments. So I will just grade the latest one. But after the deadline, you only has one chance. And also remember that for the final project, the late submission and also resubmissions are not accepted. OK, um, let's look at our uh, schedule. So you may already notice that this semester uh, we don't have a spring break. OK, um, so for the first week, we will talk about intro to data visualization and you will get familiar that how you the Tableau desktop in the first week. So it is very, very, very important that you have your Tableau desktop and also Tableau prep ready. And you need to read those chapters and also the other chapters uh, for those four weeks. And um, then we'll talk about the data cleaning. So that is also very important. And also we will introduce a Tableau prep. So that is a data cleaning tool that um, by Tableau. And we'll spend two weeks introduce different types of the graphs. And we will try to analyze data in different resources like relational database and also data warehouse. So we have learned those stuff from the data mining class. Uh, we will also introduce the color theory and also how we should design visualizations by using different colors. And we will also try to visualize data from non-relational database. So that is MongoDB. And remember that you need to install a SQL server, my SQL server, a driver. So my, sorry, my SQL driver to your local computer so that we can make a connection to MongoDB database. We will also talk about how to create maps. And in Tableau, they have very nice uh, map functions. And we also introduce how to visualize, how to do some visual analytics. So um, how to design a dashboard and also how to do the field calculation and what are the principles and also major considerations for the visualization design. Um, for the labs, we will see that how to visual data uh, how to use Tableau online. So that is a browser based uh, online data visualization tools and how we can create dashboard story in Tableau. And also finally, how we can share our visualization to Tableau public. So that's all for Tableau part. And next we will talk about the social network visualization. And that is a time that you should have your cafe ready. And after that, we will go to the 3D visualizations. So um, we will create 3D models uh, from LiDAR data. And also, we will build our virtual reality scenes by using AWS. And that is also the time that you should have your AWS Educate account ready. OK, and those are the readings that you should read uh, for those weeks. And for the week 12 and also 13, so depending on the situation on campus, so we see that if we can go to campus safely, so we may collect the data with LiDAR sensors on campus in person. And we may also have labs that use the real 3D printers on campus. Again, this is not guaranteed right now, so depending on uh, the situation on campus. So if not, probably we just do everything still online. And week 40 and also 15, so you will be working on your final project so that we will have we will not have lectures or labs. Uh, so you need you need to finish your proposal and you need to start work working on your final project. And finally, so we don't have a final exam, but you, instead you need to submit your dashboard and also you need to record your presentation to demo your dashboard and also you need to submit your recording of the presentation okay so that is a schedule of of this uh, this semester 